Hey everyone, welcome back to Melissa's Kitchen Table. Today I have another Trader Joe's haul for you. This one's pretty large. Um, I got a couple things for Sunday dinner and then a couple recipes. Uh, so we'll start on this side this week. I got a thing of asparagus for dinner, yellow squash and zucchini. I was buying the local ones, um, but they were going bad really fast and I ended up throwing a couple out um, so I went back to these. I got a red pepper and an orange pepper, a huge head of cauliflower, I got some of the rainbow radishes. Kane likes to eat these as a snack and I also like to roast them with asparagus. Got some onions because I was all out and some potatoes we were all out of those got some mexican style cheese blend in the back um, nothing specific just whatever and then for sunday dinner i got these lemon cream sandwich cookies i figured we would give these a try then a friend of mine is coming over for dinner on tuesday so i got some of their trader joe's shortcake biscuits got some raw California walnut halves and pieces got some bananas I'm gonna do breakfast for dinner one night this week and I'm gonna do banana walnut pancakes and then my husband asked me to get him peanut butter and I didn't know which one he wanted so I got the creamy and the crunchy I also got some garlic powder. We were um, out of that. These Ocean Spray raspberries just look really good. So I grabbed those. I got a big two pound box container, whatever, of the organic strawberries. These were $6, not a bad price. We like to have those at night. Um, I just picked these up because I'm all out of chocolate chips. So I just grabbed some of those. And then I decided to try the Trader Joe's Yellow Clean Peach Halves and White Grape Juice um, with the shortcake biscuits. We're going to do peach shortcakes. And then I got some more of this Basmati Rice Medley. This is really good. Um, it's inexpensive. It's all um, has seasonings and dried vegetables in there. Really good. We like that. So then I went and got some of the pure vanilla. I ran out of this a while back and this stuff is so expensive now. This was $10 for this container. So this isn't the one I originally got and uh, picked up. I got a bourbon vanilla. So um, when I was at the checkout, the girl carded me basically for the vanilla. I needed to give her my license, which I did not have on me. It was out in the car. So I couldn't buy the real vanilla that I wanted. So I had to go back, put the bourbon vanilla, and get this alcohol-free kind. Now, it's not the vanilla flavoring, so it doesn't have the gross stuff in it, but I was a little disappointed. But anyway, got some sour cream. So for Sunday dinner, um, I seen um, the channel Hot Mess Mom. She made these Big Mac sliders or sandwiches or uh, Big Mac Sloppy Joe sandwiches, I think they are. Um, I'll leave the recipe down below or a link to, I'll do a video for it. I'll put something for you guys to see. So I got the ground beef for that. Um, and this is a package of chicken breast. I don't want to take it out. I want to be able, I want to freeze it. I'm going to be making chicken tacos from when my friend comes over. I grabbed a thing of Trader Joe's potato puffs. I usually cook this on a Sunday dinner. Um, not this week, but I will. Got some mashed cauliflower. We really liked this um, fully cooked quinoa, so I grabbed some more of that. Got some organic half and half. I wanted to get some of the whipping cream to make for the peach shortcakes, but they all expired um, this week and I was not happy with that. So I grabbed some of this Cabot whipped cream in a can. It's the closest I could get. Then at another store, I got these steak cut fries for Sunday dinner. 
um, some of this stuff I had to get because I forgot to get it at Trader Joe's. And I had to get the Thousand Island, which they did not sell at Trader Joe's. I forgot to get the lettuce, so I ended up paying $3.99 for that. I needed some orange sliced cheese. And then, unfortunately, I forgot the rolls. Trader Joe's rolls are a lot cheaper, so I ended up getting these because I wanted the one with the seeds on it. So yeah, got a whole bunch of stuff. So let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been carded for vanilla. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.